you have 15 other ideas that you want to pursue. Right. And I know that you're an entrepreneur in mind. You have yeah. a lot of passion. And how do you control yourself? That's, how do you yeah, stop challenge. doing those, yeah. working on those other products? I listen to my wife first. <laughs> <laughs> she will guide me accordingly and say, listen, stay focused, which, which I totally agree with. And, and I think that's the name of the game. And um, you know, th there are so many opportunities to chase butterflies, all right, for lack of a better term, where you can go and pursue all sorts of different ideas. And, and I think making the right decision, that, that's... Where, where, I, where I have failed and where I have succeeded is driven mostly by the decisions and the priorities that I make in terms of which path do I want to go down and does it make sense. So, for instance, um, on the sales front, when opportunities come in that aren't necessarily in our sweet spot, what will happen is we evaluate them and we say, is this, uh, is this situation where from a cash flow perspective we actually want that revenue coming in or is this a strategic opportunity where it makes sense for a client so we can actually embed further you know, to add value in that capacity. So we'll take a look proactively in that, in that way to make some smart decisions. Uh, and th that's sales oriented. I think in terms of, uh, you know, and again, using SharePoint as the vehicle, there are so many, uh, you know, SharePoint is not just a, a uh, it's, it's not just one solution specifically. It, is, it, it addresses so many different dimensions of what businesses need. So you need to focus in on a few particular areas of it, otherwise it's just overwhelming in terms of what, you know, what SharePoint will do and, uh, and people go tilt pretty quickly with that. Mm -hmm.